Hello everyone, we are back with another amazing Turing live code solving problems on YouTube. So how are you guys doing today? Let me put the music down a little bit. So today we are going to be solving uh, one amazing problem, which is this problem. And this is a easy problem, but what I'm gonna let you know today, I'm gonna let you know how to sort things, how to merge things, right? Hey, Tech with Talk, how are you guys? How are you doing today? Hi, Duran. Hi, man. All right. So uh, today I'm gonna show you how to sort or how to merge arrays, okay, and how to merge a linked list. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, as I mentioned, the problem that we are going to be solving today is this one. We're going to solve the problem merge to merge to sorted list. Okay. All right. And just wait more people to join. Hey, hi, Jeff Dunn. Happy to be here again. Me too. Uh, tech Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Uh, doing great, just waiting for the job to be matched. Yeah, uh, you are on the right track, you will get there. Okay, so Jefton from Nigeria. All right, so the, this is the problem that we are going to be solving today. We need to merge two link lists. Okay, already sorted. Uh, and let me read, let me read this problem for you. Okay. Um, okay, merge, merge two link, two sorted lists. Okay, and, and you are given uh give the head of two sorted linked lists, list one and list two. Uh, merge the two lists in one sorted list, and the list should be made uh, splicing together of the node, the node first two list hmm interesting we need to merge them okay and return the head of the murdered link list what what we're gonna do so for this we're gonna create one extra variable to merge okay the to be the sort the merger link list and we go over the link <coughs> sorry the linked list and if the number is greater than another number we add the, the lower number and then repeat the process. So before we go to solve this problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you. OK, uh, explain how to merge things. OK, there's a few steps that we need to do uh, to account that. So I will start, OK, with one array. Const array let's go r 
and it will start from zero. And I solved a problem similar to this yesterday in a Turing events, okay? But was the hard one, okay? Was the hard one. This one is easy. So let me show you. First, we're gonna create this array and I'm gonna create uh, two variables, okay? Const a, oops, const, const a receive one and const b equals to two okay const a one and b two and we need to sort them right and what's the algorithm for that let's build the algorithm hi ricardo alves ferreira da silva not da silva but silva hi everyone from brazil nice all right so let's try to sort these two numbers what we need to do First, uh, if, so we have a if, if A is less than B, what we are gonna do? Push A, oops, push A, right? Uh, and then, then push B. If, second, uh, if, if B, is less than a what we are gonna do push b right then a return return r so this is the basic algorithm for sort things right not that so let's see if it will work okay let's implement that if a uh, is less than B, push A, then push B. So let's see if our algorithm is right. A dot push, okay, push A and B, right? But I need to do if A less than B, do this, else. I'll follow our algorithm, okay? If B less than A, R dot push two things, B and A, okay? So let's see, and then we need to return R, return R. So let's see if this algorithm is correct or not. I'm gonna uh, re press run, but before that, console.log R, and then we're gonna see if our algorithm is working fine. Uh, something wrong, what's wrong? It's not uh, valid for the exception, return. Return. Okay, what's happening? They are expecting a uh, list, but I am returning an array. So let me let me remove the return. They will it will be undefined. It should pass. And this is our uh, output one and two, right? It's working because I am adding a and b. And if I swap the values, okay? Now a is two and b is one. Let's run it again and see what we have in the final result. We also have one and two, always, because this is how you sort numbers, right? This is really common. All right, so next step. If, okay, if A and B are a list of numbers, so A will be one, right, three, Odd, num uh, odd number, let's see, and five. And B will be two, four, and six, and eight. Let's do this, okay? So, what we need to do in order to merge these two arrays, okay? Let's update our algorithms. Hello, Andres Wilson from Buenos Aires. Como estas? All right, so let's now update our algorithm to uh, merge two arrays, okay? So, if A, in that case, will be if A 
right, is less than B, push A and remove A. So we need to push A in our array and remove array, remove A, the item in that case, remove the element, element from A. We need to push A, which is the item element. Let's say element. We need to push the element in our array in R and remove the element from A. Else. Okay, let's let's keep it as is for now. Uh, if B is less than A, what we need to do? I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna copy this. Then we need to push the element, B element, and here is A element. We need to push B element in R and remove the element from B, okay? And return R, that's it. That is how you sort a merge, in that case, to arrays, okay? But we need to do that uh, in a loop, okay? I'm not gonna implement that. Let me array.merge, yeah, it will do the job. Yeah, Mr. William, hi everyone. Campelonet says array.merge. Yeah, great job. Andres Wilson says thank you. Okay, so how this algorithm will work? This is the algorithm for that. Okay, then I need to return A and let's see if it will work. So, in the beginning, we have A will be this and B will be this. Okay, and I will add R here at the bottom. Okay, R will be equal to empty array. Okay, and let's see if this algorithm will do the job. And just uh, give you a heads up. Merge things will be present in your life. Okay, for coding challenge. Uh, let's see if this algorithm will work. Okay, let me just remove this guy from here and put here and break the line, then it will be easy to understand, okay? So let's see, if A less than B, push the A element in R and remove the element from A. So what's the first element? One and two, right? And one is less than true, less than two, this will be true. We need to push this element. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. R dot push. What is the element? The element is one because one uh, is the, the lower element and it's in A and we push one and then we need to remove the element from A. Now A has only three and five. Okay, and then it will run again. It will, run, it will run against three versus five, okay? So three is less than five? No, it five is, er, yes, this will be true. No, not true, not five, two. So two is less than three, Yes, then we need to push B. B is two, two, right? Then we're gonna push two. Push two and remove B, the element from B. And then it will run again. Three against four. B now become four. Is this true? I'll say like this. Is this true? Yes, we need to push three. Then we push three. And remove three from the array, right? And then three become five. Then it check again. Is this true? No, it's not true. Then we have this four less than five. Is this true? Yes, this is true. We need to push four and remove four from the array, right? And then uh, four becomes six, four becomes six. 
and then do this yes this is true we need to push five need to push five and remove five from the list right okay five and then uh, all the other uh, iterations will be true from B and then we just need to push B make sense guys make sense what we are doing here did you get the the feeling how to merge uh, arrays already sorted of course did you guys get that yeah all right let's move on okay all right let's move on and before i move on i just wanna uh ask you guys if you are watching please hit the like button okay that's how you let me know that you are enjoying this video all right so if you are not subscribed to our channel hit the the red button below okay and subscribe to our channel uh it's free it's easy and it's fast just press the button okay all right so i show you how to merge things right merge things what we need to do next we need to merge link list and to merge two link lists will be a little bit different okay let me reduce let me delete this and delete this but you will see that the if statement will be quite the same okay let me go to this view and show you the full problem okay all right so what we need to do whoops all right what we need to do um let's see let's see let's see we have two link lists let me console log these two link lists yesterday i solved uh, a problem a hard problem which was merge k merge k link sorted link list so i receive a list of link lists and then we have to sort that and this one is pre uh, requirements to solve the other one i will solve this today and next uh Next time, I will solve the other one. I will show you how to do that, okay? First, let me show you the value for this. List, list one, and list two. If I console log this, what it will do? Okay, we have one, two, four, one, three, and four. And what is happening? Let's take a look at the, oh, you guys are not seeing me, but now you are. Let's take a look at the the explanation. Okay, so we have we have to sort two link lists, and they give us this example, and these example are the same that you are seeing in here. One, two, four, one, three, four, and the mergers link list is one, one, two, three, four, and four. What is happening? It's not unique. It's not a set okay is we need to merge all the items if that's not a set so that's we have double one two three and double four right what else if the link list is empty we should return a empty if both are empty we should return empty and if what let's see if link list one is empty and links link list two has only one item or many item we should return list two or list one right all right constraints the number of nodes in both lists is in the range for on um, from zero to 50 and the node val is from minus 100 to 100 minus 100 to 100 that's that range both link lists one and two are sorted in a non descending the decreasing order which means they are from zero to n okay all right let's see all right let's start solving this okay uh all right let's go to the problem yeah any question guys so far did you guys get how we how we sorted arrays merge arrays did you guys get that Let's see. 
Hello, Angelos Wilson. DRG from Ethiopia. Mauricio Bruno from Natal, Brazil. And OG Experience from Tanzania. Nice. Nice to see you all here, guys. All right, so let's start with the code, okay? And two, okay, this is, these are my lists, okay? These are my lists. And to parse a list, to walk through a list, we need to do in two ways, right? One is we can go for um, a loop, a while loop, and print all the elements from one given linked list, or we can do a recurs recursive function. I did it uh, both in this channel already, right? If you want to see the both ways to go through a linked list, you have to watch our previous video, okay? Today, I will go with a while, a while loop, okay? What we need to do here? I will first, first, I'm gonna show you the value for each linked list, okay? Uh, I'm gonna create a reference, okay? Cons, let's see, um, sorted link list. Sorted link list will receive a defined for a single link list. So I'm gonna use this function that they provide to us, right? This will receive a new, uh, new list node, right? I'll create a new variable let here to uh, hold the reference. Okay, uh, let's see. Temp list. Temp list will receive uh, my list. It will make a reference. Okay, from this variable to that variable. All right. Two more things that I would like to explain to you today. Okay, if you are not familiar with um, with linked lists, okay, linked lists are composed from two a node with two attributes, as you can see here. Okay, no, not here. Here, uh, the val, the val, and next a val is anything that you want to hold there, and a next is a pointer to the next element. Okay, to the net node list. The first element, the first node from, uh, of a linked list is called head, okay? And the last node is called tail, okay? And how do we call the nodes between the head and the tail? Just node, okay? And different from an array, a linked list has a dynamic um, length, dynamic size, okay? And to, to know the length of a linked list, you have to go through the entire link at least, okay? All right, so as that said, let's print the tail and the the head from the link list one, okay? So just for explain, okay? Uh, const, let's see, const list one, list one, oops, head. Const head will receive list one, okay? This will be the tail, oh, the head. And let's create the tail. Tail will receive, for now, uh, null, new list node. Let's do this. So we have the head, which is the list one, and tail, which is point to new, okay? And how do we find the tail for one list? for the linked list. If you look into the problem, we have the head for the first linked list will be one and the tail will be four, okay? And how we get that? So we need to loop, uh, we need to loop. I'll point the, the, I'll point, point the tail to the head for now, okay? I will point to the tail and I will loop through, okay, tail dot, uh, okay, no, 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 tail dot, dot next, one, two, three, no, okay, the head will point to the next node and the tail 
will always point to nu. Okay, the next from a tail, it's always nu. That is how you know that you finish parsing a linked list. Okay, uh, then I have to parse this until tail dot next is different from nu. All right, and then after that, const console.log tail. Okay, so if I remove this, first comment for a second, you see tail will be equal to head. Okay, one, two, and one, two, and four. And then let's see how can we find the tail for a linked list. What I need to do, real easy, tail will receive tail.next. If I run this, okay, I will update my tail with the next element every time. And let's see what we have now. Four, okay, we have four. If you look at to the image, you'll see one is the head and four is the tail. Is that good? Are you guys getting that? I'm not too fast. Yeah. All right. So, let's keep going. Okay. So, now you know how to get the the head and now you know how to get the tail. If you want to see the size Oops, let me create a new variable. Let counter will receive 0. Then counter plus plus and then I will say the size is and then I'll print counter inside when I do this count will be three let's see size is two because I already start from the, the uh, element one right so if I do this count will be three three this is for the link list one, right? All right, let's do what, what we need to do more. Let's do the following. Uh, I'll get the tail. Okay, tail.next will receive a new link list with the value dash, for example, right? And then I will have to do the same thing again. And let's see, let me reset counter. Let me reset counter. And let's print the new counter. The new counter and the new tail. Let's see. See, counting is two because it is tail.next. Tail will reset. Let me refresh tail. Tail dot oh, tail will receive head. See, tail now is four. Oh, tail now is ten, and the size is four. And if we print head, how head should look like? One, two, three, and four. Oh, one, two, one, two, four, and ten because ten was the last node that I added. Right? So at the beginning it could be a little bit confused, but when you start working with this, you see that it's not that confused. Okay? Uh, all right. So, as that said, let's now uh, learn how to merge two linked lists. Okay? I just want to explain you guys this first because it will give you uh, open, I'll say, some knowledge to understand what we are doing. Okay? Uh, all right, let's remove this code. Let's keep this. Let's remove this, this. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, now we have our linked list. We are going to return this, okay? Return this. 
And what else? What we need to do? I need to run this loop against two linked lists. How do we know that? How do we do that? I will do this. Okay. Uh, list one different than null and list two different from null, right? All right. Okay. And then let me remove this. First thing that we need to do, we, need, we are going to do this. Okay. We are going to do this. So, but in that case, if A, if A is less than B, what we are going to do, we are going to push B, push A. Okay. And point push A and push A in temp list, push A in temp list and point point list one which is this guy to the next element i'm gonna point a list one to the next element and then if b is less than a we are gonna push b element in temp list okay and what temp list and point list to list to to the next element but as i i did before with tail we need to push the tail also to the next element what how we do that so so here i will add my list in my temp list and how do we do that I will add okay I have this here already so I'm gonna push this in my list and point list one to the next element okay that's all we need okay let's break the line to make it clear okay break the line to make it clear okay so let's start implementing that uh, how do we know if at least uh, a vowel is less than another vowel let's implement that if okay list one dot val less is less right yes is less than list two dot val we are comparing two values okay not four two compare two values if it's true if it's true we need to do two things right push a element in temp list right my temp list is this one so temp list dot next it's my next element will receive uh list one right then i have a temp list here and my next element is pointing to list one in that case is one right else let's let's fall and then okay i move i push and then i need to point list one to the next element how do we point uh the list to the next element is list one receive uh list oops list one yeah list one dot next right this is uh, that was we we did with tail remember right okay uh oh hello from brazil are you watching brazil game later on i think i had an interview with me me we'll have a time to talk about this in the end so let's not lose the brazilian game it's 2 2 p.m from 2 p.m my time okay all right so then we have another if we, we are going to implement this if this if this if here okay if uh list two dot foul less than uh list one dot whoops dot foul what we are gonna do let's create this scope here okay push b to temp list let's get b and push b to temp list b b is are you guys seeing right yeah b is list two okay and then i need to move i need to move uh 
move list to to the next element same we did at the top list to we receive list to dot list to dot next that's how we move to the point list to the next element as we did with uh, tail in the beginning okay if you are uh, just uh, arriving now uh, we did this before okay in the beginning of this life you have to go back and watch it so okay we implement that but let's see let's see how this list look like okay let's see what we look like when we have console log this I guess we have a infinite loop because I add a comma here okay I add a comma here and I just replace to a double E let's see now what we have here hmm again another infinite loop all right because i'm i'm adding at the same element i need to push my list my temp list to next because i want to add next not at the same okay temp list will receive temp list dot next all right so temp list will receive temp list list two list two less than list one list one less than list two let's run it again temp list what is happening temp list temp list temp list temp list temp list we receive let one here temp list will receive two here and then temp list temp list temp list will receive temp list dot next why are you complaining dot next is not an template is new template is new why template is new because i have i have uh let's remove this and add a else statement here because i could have uh i could have uh equal values right in that case if you want to go with this it should be less or equal okay less or equal less or equal see zero one and two why it's going on in here okay all right we are getting there right um shortlist dot next hi george how are you doing george okay we have one one three and four one one two that's two missing okay that's two is missing why two is missing let's do the following let's remove this and add an else here okay else push b one one two three four double four we have double four and then we have to do the same after the loop we are going to add the next element okay the last element how do we do that if uh, let me see how did they call this okay if list one if list one is equal to different from undefined because I have one there okay I have one element there if this is different from undefined what I have to do I, I have to push in my temporary list list one okay because I'm working with the less element okay and then I have to do the same if uh, list two is different from undefined right it will break undefined let me do it 
better. What we are gonna do? We're gonna add in my temp list in the end, okay, list two. And let's see what we have now. So, not working. Oh, it's working. It's working. One, double one, two, three, double four. Okay, double one, two, three, double four. Let's run that with all examples. Okay. Okay, let's, I cannot resize this, but that's okay. There's a many, many attributes here. Let me run this. Yeah, it's passing in all, all test case. Okay, let me ask you guys. Did you guys, uh, did you guys get that? Yeah. So that is it for today. Okay, I'm gonna share the problem. Let me submit this. Let me submit this problem this view let me submit this submit let's see if it will pass in all the test cases pass it problems submissions pass it let me do this i'm gonna share with you the solution okay let's see here's the solution i'm gonna share the solution with you in the chat okay you can follow that solution and you can see if you got that my interview is with you jose yeah all right gustavo andrade let me check my agenda all right guys let me go back to this view so 5 p.m we are this 3 p.m my time 3 p.m 3 p.m uh all right so any questions uh any any question let's take five to ten minutes to answer any question related to tutoring okay any question you can drop your your question in the chat i will read that okay uh let's check my agenda for today 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 so Rick gustavo I wouldn't. I mean, I think they all, uh, someone else from my team will take your interview today because I I have a, a conflict. I have a conflict today. All right. Any question, guys? How are you guys doing with lit? How are you guys doing with coding challenge? Are you guys training? Are you guys trying? Yeah. All right, you guys are really shy today. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this, okay? As much as I do. So, consider subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribing already, okay? And I hope to see you again next week. I'm planning to go live next Monday, okay? Let me know in the comments if you want live, another live in Monday. Uh, Gustavo, yes. Uh, it's for Node.js, right? I, I saw the invite. I forwarded for someone from my team. So, for Node.js, I'll give you a few uh, tips, okay? Uh, you have to solve algorithm problems today. Uh, easy to medium algorithm problems, okay? And they will ask you to... They will share a, a, a link with you and they will ask you to solve a couple JavaScript problems, okay? Uh, like regarding the event loop, you have to explain what the event loop is, okay? This is a uh, one free question for you. So you you have to answer uh, questions related to event loop, to timers, to uh, call stack, event queues, okay? Uh, they will ask you to solve JavaScript problems. They will ask you to solve algorithm problems, easy problems. And I cannot tell you more than this. Okay, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you wanna see another live next Monday. I can bring another problem for you to solve. If you wanna me to solve any problem, uh, drop a message in the comments, okay? As that said, 
that's, that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, live with Turi because I'm enjoying that so much and I hope to see you again next time. Okay, take care. Bye.